To get some interesting tech tutorials and hacks, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Subscriptions are always free. Also check out my blog at techdjday.blogspot.in wherein I have posted some really interesting tech tutorials. I'll leave the link in the description. Hello everybody and in this video tutorial I am going to be introducing you to what a VI editor is, how to use it and why you should use it. So without wasting much time let's get started. So here I am this is my Kali Linux system working under VirtualBox. So the first question is that we want to know what a VI editor is. A VI editor is a classic terminal based text editor. It is used to create text or edit text files and not only text files you can also create and edit your programming scripts as well. Now the second question is why we should use a VI editor. You might have a question in your mind that I have text editors like gedit or leafpad etc then why should I use a terminal one. You should know this fact and it is a known fact that using a, a task done on the terminal is lot faster than a task done using the GUI environment. For example, if you want to add a new user to your Linux system using the GUI method which is by going to the system settings, it will take a lot of time and it will be a, it will have a lot of steps as well. But if you were to do the same thing using the terminal, it is just one command. sudo add user then the username. Alright. Now the next question is how to use VI editor and that is what I am going to show you. So let's move to desktop so that you can see the changes appearing. Now I don't have any file in the desktop ls no file. Now to use the VI editor we will type in here VI space the name of the file for example test and now press and enter and once you press enter you will see a lot of tilde signs on the left hand side. Okay. Now the VI editor has two modes. One is the insert mode and the other is the command mode. In the insert mode you can add text to the script or the text file you are creating or editing. In the command mode you can execute the requisite commands. So for today I am just gonna be creating a simple text file in which I will be writing some normal things and I will show you how to save it and also I will show you how to re-edit the file. All right. Now, when you type in vi space the file name, it automatically opens in the command mode. And to move from the command mode to the insert mode, you need to press the i key on the keyboard. All right. So once I'll press the i key in Kali Linux, it shows a change that here you can see the word insert has appeared. But in most other Linux distros this change is not observed. So you have to be very careful in this case. Now once you are in the insert mode you can add your requisite text. For example I am writing here hi all. Now let's suppose you have finished writing one line and now you want to move to the next line. So for that first you need to press the escape key which will bring you back to the command mode and then press O. O stands for open a new line. Just press O and it will open a new line. Now you might be wondering that I can just press enter and bring up a new line. But I will show you why sh you should not do that or you why you should not use that method. So once I am in the new line, I will press the I key. So I am already in the insert mode. Now let's enter more text like say please subscribe my channel and once done I'll press the escape key and then I'll press O to add a new line and let's add more text in it please like and share this video. Now I am showing you why you should not use the enter key to move to add a new line. Ok let's press the enter key. Now I have pressed the enter key. I am, I am in the new line. 
I'll write say please comment on this video now I have finished writing the content I'll press the escape key to move to the command mode all right now as you can see I'm in the command mode and if you want to undo all the changes you have made to a single line you can do that by pressing the letter U in the small case in your keyboard so press the letter U and as you can see two lines have been deleted I had used the enter key so that's why the two lines have been deleted but in this case in this line I had I didn't use the enter key but I did use the letter O to create a new line now if I press U you will see that only one line has been deleted so that's why to undo all the changes you need to press the letter U and if you press the enter key to create a new create new lines then if you press U at the end then all the lines that you have created by pressing the enter key will all be deleted so you should keep keep this thing in mind now let's suppose I want to add more text to this file okay let me just add that thing itself please subscribe my channel all right I'll press the escape key now I'm in the command mode now as I said that if you press the letter U it will delete all the contents in that line but let's suppose you want to add more contents to that line itself so you can do that directly by pressing the a letter then as you can see you are in the insert mode now you can add more text in it let's say if you want to add okay I'm writing the same thing itself please subscribe my channel now once done let's suppose you want to save the changes how can you do that press the escape key now you are in the command mode there are many ways to save the file the most popular way is colon in the command mode type colon w q now if you just type colon w it will save the file but you, you it will keep the vi editor open if you type colon w q it will save the file as well as it will close the VI editor and if you simply type colon Q it will uh, quit the VI editor without saving what whatever changes you have made okay for example I uh, let's suppose I want to save this file and quit so I'll type colon W Q and press and enter and as you can see the VI editor has been closed and the test file has appeared you can see here in the desktop so if you want to view the contents so type in here cat space test the cat command is used to view the contents you can also use uh, GUI based text editors like leafpad or gedit to view the contents so cat space test and here as you can see hi all please subscribe my channel there is another method to save this uh, file but before that let me tell you something let's suppose you want to move your cursor throughout the text you cannot do so in the insert mode you have to do so in the command mode so if you want to move the cursor throughout the text you can use the arrow keys to move the cursor as per your requirements and you can do this only in the command mode all right so let's open a new line and let me write some content please like this video and share it as well okay once done I'll press the escape key I'm in the command mode now as I said there is a second method to save and quit the changes that you have made in the VI editor and that is by pressing the shift plus ZZ key combination 
and I, I have pressed that so I as you can see my file has been saved I didn't write the colon wq now if you want to see the changes simply type cat space test and as you can see the extra content has been added so now you might be wondering that I have a text editor named nano which is quite common and which is quite easy to use nano is a terminal based text editor similar to vi it is quite easy to use and it is simple it is user friendly if you want you can use nano but vi is somewhat everyone wants to learn so i have made this very simple video tutorial on how to use the vi editor you can also create your programming scripts simply type in your vi space let's suppose you want to create a Perl script so i am typing in here test Perl. this is the name of the Perl script that you want to create and simply uh, add a dot pl that is the extension that you are the extension that the programming language has for example Perl has dot pl python has dot py etc etc so just after typing in it in this way you can press the enter key add in the contents save the changes and then you can execute the Perl script by the dot slash the Perl script or whatever the name of the programming script is so that was a very short video on how to use vi editor i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please like comment share and subscribe and bye for now